Here we go, a title fight of the big three investments that we make and what their returns look like in 2022. We've heard a lot about real estate in the last couple of months, well, years, different stories over that time. Stocks, we hear about every night on the news about the big swings up and then down, and then there's that quiet and sometimes people would call boring bond market. But fun fact, it was the bond market that really sunk our economy, well, the world economy actually, in 2008. So they probably shouldn't be considered boring. No. Let's get to it and compare these three titans. But first, hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. And I've sold more than a thousand homes and I'm one of the state's top agents. If you have any questions about the real estate market, then no, I'm here to help. Let's start with the stock market because quite frankly, it's the easiest and very black and white. There are three major indexes that track the stock market and we're going to take a quick look at all three for a more full picture. The New York Stock Exchange started the year at 35,244 points and ended the year at 33,842 points for a 4% decrease. Now, the NASDAQ started the year at 14,293 points and ended at 11,283 points for a 21% decrease. Ouch. Then the S&P saw an 11.5% decrease as it went from 4,534 points to 4,014. Then there's that boring bond market. This one's a little harder to track, but ETFs made our lives a lot easier in this case. There are a lot of ETFs, by the way. In this case, let's just look at the one that tracks corporate bonds, an aggregate bond portfolio, which is really considered the benchmark standard, and then an ETF tracking treasury bonds. Let's start with the benchmark Bloomberg Aggregate Bond Index. Hey, that five times fast. This bond index started the year at $111.80 and would end the year at $100.22 for a 10.4% decrease. Now, the investment grade corporate index didn't fare much better as it started the year at $127.76 and that would end 2022 at $110.87, which is a 13.2% decrease. Then there's the treasury market. In this case, we looked at the U.S. Treasury bond ETF, which saw a 10.2% decrease from 2598 to 2333. So both the bond market and the stock market major indexes were down. I must have missed all the doomsday headlines and the stop buying stocks and bond headlines, which is weird because I'm kind of a news junkie. What about the real estate market, though? Let's talk national first. The average sale price in the U.S. in December of 2021 was $358,800. By December of 2022, that had increased to $366,900, and that is a 2.3% increase in the average sales price in 2022. Not bad. In Massachusetts, the average sale price in December was, of 2021 was $661,930 and closed out the year in December of 2022 at $672,647. That's a 1.6% increase for the average home price in the state of Massachusetts. So the bond market was down in 2022. The stock market was down in 2022, but the real estate market was up. Gains were definitely pulled back, which is a great thing as the part market just wasn't sustainable. But not to mention the tax benefits of being able to write off interest on your loan as well as your property taxes. It just amazes me to see all of these people talk about how bad of an investment real estate is, but those same people will go tell you to invest in stocks or hold it in cash, which by the way, the inflation rate for 2022 was 6.5%, which means that if you were holding cash, you actually lost 6.5% of your buying power. So real estate beat out stocks, bonds, and cash. Buy for the long term and remember that real estate's local and that returns, they're gonna differ based on market to market and whichever market that you're actually in. If you're looking to buy or sell in the next nine or 90 days, then I'm your guy. I'd love to chat with you and just learn more about your real estate goals. All of my contact information, it's in the description below. You can also reach out at youtuberealestateagent.com, just fill out a couple questions, then I'm gonna reach out to you. Again, my name is Jeffrey Chubb and I look forward to hearing from you and until next time.